Hey guys, Coach Ben here, BakeBenches.com. Today I wanted to talk about the process of actually taking the bar out of the rack. Uh, now this is a very delicate process, one that people look. How you take the bar out is what's going to set you up. We have the setup and then actually getting the bar where it needs to be to start the bench is a huge thing. So first off, make sure, well very first off, make sure you're getting a handoff because I'll tell you, getting a handoff is such a huge difference compared to trying to take that bar out yourself. All right, gonna make a world of difference. So if you have any random person in whatever gym you're trained in at, get that person, you know, a shitty handoff is still gonna be better than trying to take that bar out yourself sometimes. So the first thing, making sure that rack height is set up for your arm length, all right? So I set this one up for me. I want it just to clear the lip of the rack, all right? Some benches have a larger lip than others, but you pretty much wanna pull that bar out. You don't wanna lift with the shoulders. Um, that's what I'm gonna get into now. So just making sure this rack height is set up properly. So if I go ahead, I set up on this bench, all right? Now if I'm too I'm gonna have to lift out with what? My shoulders. If I'm too high, what's gonna come apart? My shoulders, they're gonna untuck. So I need to be in my setup and I need this height just perfect to where I can clear the lip and pull it right out where it needs to be. So that's step one. Next step guys is the actual takeout process. What we wanna stay out of is our shoulders. We wanna eliminate our shoulders as much as possible. We want to pull that bar in like we're doing um, one of those pullovers. You ever see the pullover exercise? Um, that's pretty much what we're doing here. All right, so we're going to clear the lip. Whole time I'm thinking about pulling with my lats. This motion right here, using your back. Now watch my lats. Right there, I'm pulling that bar in. Versus doing one of these, right? That's shoulders. This is lats. Boom, right there. And the next thing I want to cover is letting this bar, letting the weight of the bar sink your shoulders into the pad. So I'm tightening up my lats and letting my shoulders sink down. All right, so as I pull this bar out, right, I can stay here or I can let my shoulders sink. See that little dip in range of motion? That subtle dip. Let's just let my shoulders sink a little lower, All right? So I can come out, let the shoulders sink down. Boom, I'm ready to go. I'm gonna catch that weight in my left. Boom, and explode back. All right, so as you can see, the takeout is a very delicate process, but if you nail it right, that sets you up for a big, big bench. On meat day, guess what? You probably have one shot at your goal weight. All right, so you have to make every single thing count. Perfect setup, perfect takeout, perfect press. All right, they all matter. They're all a huge deal. And again, make sure you use a handoff. I see way too many people not using a handoff guy. All right, too valuable not to use. I'm Coach Ben. You know where to find me. You can meet me on a bench.